We came together to create something new and innovative in a genre we all love. Our history untold is the game we've dreamt of making. Okay, Royal Civilization. Our is an homage to historical gamers, strategy gamers, 4X gamers. It features all the depth and gameplay Ay, fans of this genre no sé love. Cómo, where you look explore... Tío, ¿cómo puedo hacer para cuando banea a alguien no salga aquí delante? A mí antes el chaterino, cuando ponía la gente para banear, me salía a la derecha. Y ahora me sale a la izquierda, tío. That's Dan we started in his basement. Esto es como cuando estaba el tío dando las noticias. Habéis visto el vídeo ese mítico que se hizo súper viral de un tío que estaba dando las noticias, haciendo un reporte de no sé qué, y de repente entran los dos niños chicos al cuarto. Ese vídeo brutal, tío. Y entra la cuidadora. No, la cuidadora no era la madre. Que yo creo que era la cuidadora. Entra la madre a sacarlos. Lo he visto ese vídeo, no lo pongo, eh, brutal. Y aparte así nos vamos haciendo al cuerpo, que tengo ganas de tener hijos ya, tío. And give players the power to experiment and make meaningful strategic choices while still having agency over their playstyle. We also wanted to explore more in different parts of history and give players from around the world the chance to see the game reflect their unique perspective and not just ours. And finally, not just through numbers. One of the first differences you'll see when you dive into Aura is what we call the living world. It's a procedurally generated alternate Earth bursting with life and intuitive, authentic, eh? and immersive space, a blank canvas for players to paint the society of their dreams. Hay épocas de, de mi vida en las que me apetece un montón jugar juegos así de estrategia, tío. A mí me encantaba el puto Imperium, te they lo prometo. El Imperium era... Jugaba un montón de pequeño. They can see everything from the settling of the wilderness to cultural influence on architecture over time to the thousands of citizens living their lives and reacting to the changes. Pero sobre todo el Imperium. We want players to feel like they're truly occupying the world, leading their people as they thrive and grow. Y yo, yo diría streamer el Imperium algún día, creo que sí, ¿verdad? The vision of Aura is our philosophy Of rule how Creo que alguna you want vez en 2019, 2018, streamé un día el Imperium, puede ser. To win a game Pero nunca lo resubí. Players will compete with their rivals to build the most soñado. influential, impressive, and important nation ah, the world has ever known. This is measured by prestige, the player's score that proves their worth as a leader. The prestige system gives players the chance to decide what kind of leader they want to be. Do they want to pursue great works of arts and culture? Es que es Military juego, André, eh? Esto está guapo. ¿Esto qué es? Es que hermano, que puede hacer mecas. En Aura, no hay set victory conditions. Players get to decide what is most important to them and focus and prioritize on those goals while still being able to win the game. Personally, when I play Aura, I like to build triumphs. Triumphs are our collection of incredible monuments and architectural achievements from throughout human history. Like the Great Pyramid of Giza. They're hard to build, but worth it. Giving huge Dios, prestige bonuses and game-changing abilities to the nation that constructs them. Another aspect of Aura that I am personally excited about is our crafting system. The crafting system offers a unique challenge to the player that they generally won't see often in the 4X genre. Succeeding at balancing, gathering the right things, turning them into the tools that you need, and then finally getting to the outcome or reward of something like an important improvement or triumph just changes the challenge that exists in Aura compared to other 4X games. Tío, ¿por qué? Esta vez lo pienso. plays out in Aura at a national scale. ¿Por qué a mí, concretamente? Hablo de mí porque soy el que... A mí mismo me conozco. ¿Por qué cojones en mi cabeza o mi cerebro encuentra disfrute en los juegos en los que lo encuentra? Pero no soy el típico que solo juega estas cosas y que se compra este juego y que le mete 500 horas y solo hace falta comprarme un juego, ¿me entendéis? Hay gente a la que os gusta, a los que gustan estos juegos, os compráis este juego y no tocáis otro en 5 años y estáis tú contentos metiéndole mil horas al mismo juego. ¿Por qué a mí eso en la cabeza no? Me Many strategy games have digo? players alternate taking turns and reacting to their opponent's moves. Porque me gusta jugar a cosas distintas y no es que es una cosa nada, ya está, toma por culo, tío, no tendría que mular ni navigate uncertainty to predict and strategically plan for a variety of scenarios in the moment. This system makes Aura just feel more real. In a typical strategy game, once your turn is finished, you have to wait Porque for a long time. With simultaneous vago. turns, tu puta madre que tal está, tío. Mira lo que. You get to keep playing the game bien, and ¿no? stay engaged rather than having those periods of downtime where you're not bien? doing anything. Pero que estén bien, tío. It's not easy sifting through all of history and picking what to include. For Aura, we wanted to offer a fresh perspective, so we looked at cultures and societies throughout the millennia with the broadest lens possible. 
Where this approach really shines is in our leaders. En la variedad leaders are so gusto. often seen as military personnel or prominent Pero government qué, figures. Tío? But leaders come in so many different forms. ¿Sabes? They're thought leaders, scientific and cultural prodigies, en and la many more. Está el gusto, ¿por qué? Each leader in Aura has a number of no, special no, abilities subjetivo. determined by their personality traits, as well as a powerful and unique leader trait informed by their contributions to world history. With a diverse global yo, roster, yo, we know players will cae, find yo, leaders yo. that they will want to play. No, no and even a few that may surprise them with how fun it is when those leaders are handed the reins of power. For us at Oxide, player feedback is the only way to really understand what you're making. It gives us that priceless perspective from the people we're making our for. Building the game alongside real players has given us that critical player feedback. In the end, we believe this makes for a deeper connection between the players and the game. One of my favorite examples is when we first introduced the concept of dangerous wildlife to the game. It turns out, in our first iteration, it was maybe a little bit too aggressive or disruptive. We knew we should probably make a change when one of our insiders made a forum post that was just Cougars, 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 I hate cougars! Someone get these feline demons away from me. I'm happy to report, based on more recent feedback, that I think we ended up in a good place with the overall threat level of mountain lions to a player's citizenry. It's been years of hard work to bring you a strategy experience like no other. And we're so excited that we can finally see the finish line. <laughs> we can't wait for players to get their hands on the game later this year. But the launch of Aura is only the beginning. We are going to maintain our insider program after the release date and continue to listen to players and support the game into the future. On behalf of everyone at Oxide Games, thank you for joining us today. We can't wait for you to play Aura and to create your own history. Ahora voy. Eh, tiene buena pinta. Los que gusten estos juegos, pues seguramente os lo meteréis por el culo, ¿no? Yo estoy configurando el torrente 1 todavía, tío. Sé que en este series va. Uy, de verdad. Hay una esperanza de Torremolino, ¿no? Tío, no me contestéis, macho. Hay una esperanza de Torremolino, ¿no? Sé que en este series va. Hay una esperanza de Torremolino, ¿no? セーヌ・サーグリファイス。セーヌ・サーグリファイス。セーヌ・サーグリファイス。セーヌ・サーグリファイス。セーヌ・サーグリファイス。セーヌ・サーグリファイス。セーヌ・サーグリファイス。セー
Tampoco es sinónimo de calidad eso, ¿sabes? <笑>空中での その効果とともに聖剣伝説の世界らしい。